David Schultz Moore was raised and schooled in Springfield, Ohio, in the 1930s. He was regarded as a legend worldwide. In the boxing ring, he was better known as the Springfield Rifle, a nickname he earned after one sports writer noted that he hit like a 30 6 bullet. With only a 5-foot, 2-inch frame, he compiled an amazing 120-5 to amateur record. In 1952, Moore married his high school sweetheart, Geraldine, won the National AAU Bantamweight Championship, and represented the USA at the Helsinki Olympic Games. He made his professional boxing debut the following year at the age of 19. During the next seven years, he steadily climbed the rankings to earn the world featherweight crown with a 56 to six and one record. Moore used his winnings to buy a home in Columbus in Franklin Park South in 1961. On March 21, 1963, Moore stepped in the ring to defend his title against a 21-year-old challenger from Cuba, Ultiminio Sugar Ramos. From Springfield, Ohio, the world's featherweight boxing champion, Davey Moore. He earned 40000 for the fight, worth nearly 10 times that amount today. More than 26,000 fans filled the newly opened Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles for the event, billed as the first worldwide televised set of boxing matches. Moore held his own against the younger boxer, although both fighters struggled. But in the 10th round, Moore was pummeled with blows until he fell, striking the bottom rope of the ring. He got to his feet and managed to finish the round, but the referee stopped the fight before the bell sounded for the 11th. After an interview for the television audience, Moore headed to his dressing room. Dave, I know the tough one. Uh, what's the well, story? Uh, I just, it just wasn't my night tonight. It wasn't your night tonight. It wasn't my night Davey, tonight. tell me. Maybe next time. Now, let me ask you this. Much better one. All right. Now, I'd do you feel me. you'd like to get a return shot? Oh, definitely. He, I don't think he can lick me. You don't think he can lick me? I don't think so. Davey. I can fight much better. Where I feel he complained of a headache to his manager before slumping over. Rushed to a local hospital. More lapsed into a coma. His condition worsened, and he died 75 hours after the fight from a broken brain stem. Davey Moore lay at the South Los Angeles funeral home for 10 hours due to the large visiting crowd. In Springfield, more than 10,000 people paid their respects, including the student body of the junior high school that Moore had attended. Davey Moore, the Springfield rifle, was buried in Ferncliff Cemetery in his hometown of Springfield. The tragic death of Moore hit a nerve worldwide. Governor Pat Brown proposed a statewide referendum to make professional boxing illegal in California. Folk singer Bob Dylan penned a song in protest called Who Killed Davey Moore? Posing the question of responsibility. Even Pope John XXIII shunned the sport, calling for a complete abolishment. But the clamor of brutality died down and was soon forgotten. In 2013, the town of Springfield celebrated the life of Davey Moore in the unveiling of an eight-foot-tall bronze statue of the boxer. Fifty years after Moore's death, the man he fought his final bout traveled thousands of miles to attend the unveiling ceremony. Ultimino Ramos had openly mourned for his competitor after the fight. The Moore family welcomed Ramos with gratitude, 
and Moore's widow Geraldine shared with him that she had never blamed him for her husband's death. Although he died a victim of the sport he loved, featherweight boxing champion Davey Moore is regarded as a legend worldwide.